The thing that I liked most about Michael Jordan as a player was the fact that I didn't have to try to guard him. <laughs> if he had a, a, a poor defensive scheme, he was going to fill the hoop up until he either figured it out or the game was over and you lost the game. Some of his uh, acrobatic drives through the hoop are, are just remarkable. You know, he could get past the defense and use a little bit of English off of the glass. The ball drops in so nice. It takes some really advanced skills to do that consistently. The 1988 All-Star Game was a showcase for, for Michael. Michael had figured out all the things he needed to know to be a dominant player. Everything. One-on-one, -on -one, uh, couldn't guard him. <laughs> what Michael Jordan showed the whole uh, sports world was the fact that uh, you put the right people with him, he's going to lead them to world championships, without question. He was a prime example of, of excellence and a leader that would lead you all the way to the top, all the way to the top. That was uh, basketball at its finest. And on a chilly February night, a city of Chicago hot with anticipation for tonight's Welcome marquee game. To the All-Star Game. Get up and... Hakeem Olajuwon. For the East, it's Moses Malone inside. Back to Malone. And yeah, they part the record for points in the All-Star I don't think that one is. With all these great scores. Both wanted it so badly, perhaps... The home court advantage gave Michael Jordan part the trying to break free. Donaldson no good. Blown. The West again cannot hit. Players in the NBA averaging over 20 points in 10. Right side, Abdul Jabbar. Jordan with the rebound. Delivered. The favorites coming in. Clark Bain did not disappoint. Yeah, you looked at that team on paper and you saw they were the strongest. 